They smell really good. Yo, what up, Hammies? It's your boy, BP Ham. Welcome back to another episode of Amateur Cook Attempts to Make Professional Chef Recipes. On today's episode, we have another dessert person recipe by Claire Saffitz, her Gougères or another French word for cheesy bread. You know, that bread you get at Fogo de Chao, those Brazilian steakhouses that you just load up on. And we're gonna make those today, so let's get to the kitchen and get started. So for this recipe, we're gonna need some sugar, some all-purpose flour, whole milk, salt, unsalted butter, some comte or gruyere cheese, paprika, nutmeg, cayenne pepper, and some eggs. First, we're gonna prep some ingredients. So we're gonna get some whole nutmeg and we're gonna grind that up. You could use the pre-ground version, but ground spices, freshly ground spices are always better. So just get your microplane and just grate it. We need about half a tablespoon here, so just wash your fingers um, while you're doing it. So next we're gonna grate some cheese. We got some Gruyere, which is called for it in the recipe, but it also says you can use another semi-soft cheese, which um, Comte is in the same family. It's very similar to Gruyere, so if you can't find that, you can use Comte. We're just gonna cut that open. Very strong smelling cheese. Oh, anyways, I'm gonna cut the rind off one of the ends. And I'm using a mix of cheese so we get some different notes from the different types, um, but you can use all of one or the other. I wouldn't substitute like a cheddar or anything because you're not gonna get the same consistency or the same flavor profile. Now we're gonna make the dough, which is called a pat -a choux It's the same dough you're gonna use for a cream puff, but these are gonna be like savory cream puffs. So we're gonna need to melt together some butter, milk, water, salt, and sugar. We are going to heat that up over medium heat and just stir that up until it melts. So we're just gonna let this melt and then simmer um, over medium low heat. And once this melts, we're gonna add in the flour. So you wanna keep stirring it so that um, it doesn't scorch at the bottom. So it's lightly simmering. We are gonna put in the flour and mix that in. We need to cook out, out. Uh, we need to cook out all that raw flour flavor. So you need to keep stirring this until it turns into a ball. Uh, you're going to see a film kind of form around the edges and at the bottom. It should take about two minutes. So I think we're about there. Now we're going to transfer that mixture into the uh, stand mixer and let that go. Oops, missed a little bit right there. <laughs> we're going to turn that to low. Up, oh, we got to put this up first. So we're gonna turn this to low and then we're gonna beat in an egg one at a time until the, it incorporates and then we'll beat another egg until we got all the five eggs in there. So when you add the eggs, it's gonna look like it's not incorporating, but just let it keep going and it'll eventually <laughs> incorporate back into there. So we got the last egg. So once it's done incorporating, we're just gonna scrape down the sides and hopefully all of that mixture mixed thoroughly through. So if you were making cream puffs, you would puff this out and then bake them. But since we're making a savory version, we're gonna add in some spices. So we got some paprika, cayenne pepper, and some salt. We're just gonna mix that through. Once you get that thoroughly mixed in, we're gonna add in the cheese slowly. So just add in some. You could do this in the stand mixer, but I'm just gonna do it by hand. So this is only about three fourths of the cheese. We're gonna use the rest to sprinkle it on top. Make sure to break it up so it doesn't clump and that's why you grate it so that it easily mixes. So we got the last bit of the cheese, just gonna pour that in there and then mix it up. Actually gets pretty heavy as you're going through it because I think all that cheese you're adding, but it smells really good. All right, so this is what your end product should look like. 
You can see all that cheese in there. It's gonna melt and be so good. All right, so now we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And then we're gonna come over here and fill in our pastry bag. So I, we don't got pastry bags here, so you can use a Ziploc bag. Um, but if you got a pastry bag, use it. Um, but you know, you gotta use what you got. So we're actually going to fold this over. So to help you fill it, you can put it in like a cup or a longer cup preferably, but you can just wrap it over a cup and then fill it in that way so it's easier to fill without getting everywhere. Doesn't look too appetizing at this moment, but hopefully the end product is. All right, so then you're just gonna lift up the bag, push that all towards the bottom. You wanna get all that air out. So once we're ready to pipe, we're gonna snip that off. This recipe makes about 60 to 70 uh, puffs. So we got here a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper and what we did was got a one inch bottle cap and just made a seven by five grid. So we have 35 equal slots and then you're gonna just turn it over so you can still see the circles on one side and we're gonna pipe on the dough into these circles. So you're gonna get the bag and snip off about one fourth of the end so that we get a nice uh, dough coming out. And then you're just gonna pipe onto these one inch circles. So you're just gonna pipe it onto the circles like so. Don't worry if they're not perfect, they're going into our stomachs anyway. Make sure when you're piping, you're holding this side close so it doesn't spread out the other side. That has happened to me many times. I'm kind of squeezing from both ends. It makes it come out more evenly. So before we put it into the oven, we're gonna crack an egg and beat that. We want that to be a homogenous mixture. All right, good enough for me. So now we're gonna brush the top of all of the puffs with the egg wash and then sprinkle it with a little bit of cheese. And while you're doing this, if some of them look a little strange, you can like form them up better. So we got these all topped off. We're gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees. And right when we put them in, we're gonna turn the temperature down 375. But we're only gonna bake off one tray today because it's 12.30 a.m. and we're not gonna eat all these. So we'll bake the rest off tomorrow. So we're gonna put these in. We just put those in the oven and we turn the temperature down immediately to 375 and we're gonna cook those off for 30 to 35 minutes and we're gonna switch the tray and turn it halfway through at 20 minutes. It's about 20 minutes so we're gonna flip them. They smell so good. Oh, I'm gonna flip the sheet around for even baking. So we take the cheese puffs out of the oven. They smell really good and I'm super excited to try one. Finished baking the gougeres and they look so good. Oh, <laughs> they are puffed up and golden brown and super excited to try it out. So let's pop it in. Mmm, mmm. If I just open one up, they're super airy on the inside. Nice and light, but crunchy, crispy. And that cheese, mmm, mmm. They are really, really good. I could see myself popping these just in and just eating this whole thing. And pro tip, if you spill some of the cheese while sprinkling, they make these awesome Gruyere chips, super crunchy and delicious. That's it for today, guys. If you guys like this video and like me making these Gruyere's, please subscribe. Give this video a like and comment below on what you would like me to cook or bake next. Until next time, peace.